Los Angeles Councilmember Kevin DeLeon said in a television interview airing Wednesday night that he will not resign, according to a partial transcript of the interview released by Noticiero Univision. I'm so sorry. I am extremely sorry, and that is why I apologize to all my people, to my entire community, for the damage caused by the painful words that were carried out that day last year, De Leon said in the interview with Noticiero Univision anchor Leon Krause, according to the transcript. The interview was conducted at Univision 34's studio in Los Angeles. No, I will not resign, because there is a lot of work ahead, De Leon said. There's a lot of work in trying to handle the crises that are taking place in the district, the, COVID-19, infections, unemployment, the threat of evictions and the humanitarian crisis of homelessness. De Leon also said that he is sorry for the damage, for the wounds that exist today in our communities. Also Wednesday, De Leon sent a letter to City Council President Paul Krikorian in which he expressed his deepest apologies to Councilmember Mike Bonin, his family, his district's constituents and to every resident of the city. I will be spending the coming weeks and months personally asking for your forgiveness, he wrote. Krikorian, who has repeatedly called on De Leon to resign, reiterated Wednesday afternoon that the councilman must step down. I believe Mr. DeLeon has it in him to be a better person than we heard on that tape, but apologizing is not the same as making amends. We need to show the world that there is no seat for racism, exclusion and disrespect on the Los Angeles City Council. Bonin also said Wednesday that DeLeon needs to resign for the city to move forward and that his stubborn refusal to do what everyone else knows is necessary is deepening the wound he has inflicted on Los Angeles. De Leon's comments are gaslighting of the highest order, Bonin said. He describes cruel, dehumanizing remarks about a child as flippant. He says he should have intervened, as if he were a mere bystander to a racist conversation in which he played a central and ignominious role. De Leon gave similar comments in an interview that aired Wednesday on KCAL TV Channel 9. His statements follow widespread calls for his resignation, including from President Biden. Then acting City Council President Mitch O'Farrell on Monday stripped De Leon and Councilmember Gil Cedillo of committee duties in an effort to pressure them to resign. De Leon, the one-time leader of the California State Senate, took part in the October 2021 meeting with then-City Council President Nuri Martinez, Cedillo, and Ron Herrera, the leader of the Los Angeles Labor Federation, to discuss the proposed redistricting maps of the city's 15 council districts in. Martinez and Herrera both resigned last week.